بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم دس شارٹ ویڈیو ویل ٹاک اباؤٹ پیرل کلپرس اینڈ دیز ٹو سیکٹس ریپرزینٹ پیرل کلپرس وی آر ڈسکس ارلیئر آلسو دیٹ اف دی ڈائوڈ از ان پیرل ود دی لوڈ ریزسٹنس ڈائوڈ ان پیرل ود دی لوڈ ریزسٹنس دین دس بیکم اے پیرل کلپر سیکٹ I also told that it is not important for you to remember whether it is a series or parallel or whatever. All we should know is how to solve these problems. So let's do it. So this is the circuit. We have to find out the output voltage here. P out or and plot the output actually. And the input peak is from Vp to minus Vp. So let's take the first half cycle or the positive cycle. So when positive is applied, positive at the top and negative at the bottom, then this positive is making this diode positive or touching the positive terminal of the diode. That means the diode will become forward bias. So for forward bias, In case of an ideal diode, we represent by a, a short line, short circuit. And if it was, uh, uh, and sorry, the voltage then across this will be zero volt because there is no voltage drop across this short circuit. Zero voltage because the resistance is zero, so I into R zero. So the voltage V naught will be zero. Now let's talk of the uh, practical diode. So in case of a practical diode, the diode will be replaced by 0.7 volt battery, positive terminal at the top because positive of the diode is at the top and negative at the bottom. Now in this case, what will be the output? Now you can see the 7 volt or 0 0.7 volt is constant, it's not changing and this voltage cannot exceed here, it will be fixed because the moment it exceeds a 0 0.7 volt this diode will start conducting and so it will keep this voltage fixed and therefore we can say that the V out is 0 0.7 volt. Now let's talk of the negative half cycle, so negative at the top, positive at the bottom, negative touching the positive terminal of the diode, that means it is making the diode reverse bias and for reverse bias it will be open circuit. So now the, bed, the uh, input current will now flow through the resistance and there will be a voltage drop across the um, this this resistance which is equal to v naught there will also be a voltage drop across r1 because of this current so uh, to find out v naught we can take help of the voltage division rule voltage division rule vo is the resistance across which we want to find voltage, so RL at the top divided by total resistance, divided by total resistance and multiplied by the input voltage which is minus Vp in this case. So for the ideal case the output will become like this, zero when the voltage is positive zero output so zero output and by this ratio the output uh, will be reduced from Vp so this is uh, a replica of the input but the magnitude is reduced this magnitude is not equal to minus Vp rather it is a fraction depending on this part fraction of minus Vp 
okay and for the practical diode same thing because this this is now open so is the exactly same formula I apply so this is the same formula by VDR and the only difference in the plot will be that for the positive half cycle we have 0 0.7 so we'll have this 0 0.7 volt for the positive and the negative half will be same as it was here so negative half is minus VP fraction by this part so when in the next uh, slide we'll do a practical example by putting values and then you'll see how this is reduced. Okay, so this is the second example. In this case we have resistance of 10k and load resistance of 100k and diode is 1914. We'll follow exactly the same technique that we did. First of all we take the positive half cycle so positive half positive at the top and this will make this positive touching negative of the diode that means this will make the diode as a reverse biased and since it is a practical diode so therefore we will not now consider the ideal diode case we will just straight away go to the practical diode so when this voltage is positive this is a reverse bias that means this is an open circuit so it will look like this and as we did in the previous case the voltage output V output we can find with the help of voltage divided circuit so V output will now be RL divided by R1 plus RL multiplied by the voltage VP and by putting the values now RL is 100k and R1 is 10k so and VP is positive 10 volt positive 10 volt so it is now 9.9 .9 volt so because of this voltage division the output is not 10 volt rather it is slightly less than 10 volt it is 9.09 .09 volt so this was for the positive half cycle let's see for the negative half cycle so negative is touching this diode so this makes this diode forward biased so we'll replace this diode by a 0 0.7 volt battery so we put a 0 0.7 volt battery now as in the previous case no matter how much this output is increased this will remain constant and because this is remaining constant the output will also remain constant at minus 0.7 volt so V out is minus 7 minus 0 0.7 volt so we have these two voltages at positive and negative so let's plot so for positive we had 9.9 .9 volt so for positive will get 9.9 .9 volt and for negative we had minus 0 0.7 volt so for negative we have minus 0 0.7 volt so this is the plot for the circuit I hope this gives you an idea as to how to solve the parallel clipper circuit thank you